Let us, start with the discussing business problem. A lot, has been said during the past several years, about how precision medicine and, more concretely, how genetic testing is going to disrupt, the way diseases like cancer are treated. But, this is only partially happening due to the huge amount of manual work still required. Once sequenced, a cancer tumor, can have thousands of genetic mutations. But, the challenge is distinguishing the mutations, that contribute to tumor growth from neutral mutations, which does not contribute to tumor growth. Currently, this interpretation of genetic mutations is being done manually. This is a very time-consuming task where a clinical pathologist has to manually review, and classify every single genetic mutation, based on evidence from text-based clinical literature. So what can we do, to solve this problem? We need to develop a machine learning algorithm, that using this knowledge base as a baseline, automatically classifies genetic variations. So we got our objective, of why we are doing this project. After this, our next step getting the dataset. We will download the dataset, from Kaggle.com. The dataset is provided, by Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center, MSKCC. Download training variants.zip and training text.zip. Some of the important things to note down before diving into project. No low latency requirement, which means we are not bound to get the result within seconds if our model takes a few minutes or hours. It is perfectly fine. Because, what is more important, is we have to keep the interpretability, high which means that what results, we give out from our model should have a reason to support that result. It should not be completely coming from a black box. Remember, in the end the medical professional, will be the one, who will see the results, that is why, the result must be easily understandable, to them. Next is errors can be very costly, imagine if a person, has a tumor, and our model says he does not have a tumor, then our model is a complete failure. So efforts, should be more, on that no cancer patient, should be tested negative. The last point, is that to make, our model interpretable, we will use the probability of data points, belonging to which class. Don't worry about this point, if you don't understand you will get it later in the project. Just bear with me, later you will understand, how probability will be important, in deciding class. So, we have already, downloaded training variants and training text. Let us see what inside them so, our training variants file, consist of ID, gene, variation, and class. We have the detail of 3321 unique value, with their gene. The variation shown by that gene and the class to which it belongs. We have 10 different classes, to which these value can belong to. This dataset is provided by a medical professional, who has manually classified the variation, shown by gene into a particular class. Point to be noted here, these classes which are defined, as 1 to 10 does not mean, that the patient has cancer. The class, is understood by the doctor himself and he will tell, if the patient has cancer or not. Our task, is just to classify, these variations shown by gene into one particular class, which is done by doctors manually. We have to understand, how doctors classify these gene variations. Of course, they are domain experts for medical sciences. And they classify, the variation of genes based on previous research literature. Remember, we have another file named as training text, which consists of years long of research texts, which have been done in the past, using which the doctors classify the variation in gene. Let me, break it down let's say, we have a patient one which have some variation in genes, and according to research text, the doctor has classified it into a particular class. This is the same thing our model has to do, it have to classify, the gene variation on the basis, of our research text and classify the variation. Now, you can understand why doing it manually for a doctor is also a tough task as he have to go through all the previous research to find out the class 
which this variation belongs to. You all must be wondering about these typical terms gene variation and how tumor is formed. I am also not a person from a medical background, but what I have found, by researching about it, is that genes which are present, in our body are continuously mutating or variations in them takes place continuously, most of the time, these mutations are not danger ours, but sometimes if abnormal variation take place in genes it takes form of tumor, which causes cancer. Don't quote me on this, I have very much simplified, the process, the actual process of formation of tumors is very very complex problem, to understand, which it take years of study so we are not, going much into it. But, we know, the basic idea of the R dataset provided, and what actually we have to do. If anyone, really wants to get more insights, about how these variation leads to tumor, I have provided some links which I myself have gone through. You may go through these links and understand. In data science, the data set can be from any field it may be from medical, it can be from economics, it can be from engineering, with tons of overwhelming terms which you have never heard in your life. But, if you want to solve the problem, you have to do research, you have to get connected with domain experts, to understand what is given in data set and what exactly is the problem, you want to solve. The 50% work is done here itself, if you have understood the data set and objective of your problem. So in this video, we have learned the business problem of our project, the important constraints, downloaded our data set, understood the data set, and also understand the objective of our project. So the 50% of work is done? No not exactly. Yeah conceptually you can say, but practically there is much more to do. That is all for this video. One most important request to you all guys, many of our member ask me question independently. It will be much better if you ask question, here in comment section itself, it will make the session much more interactive and similar doubts of other member will be cleared collectively. Thank you for watching. See you all in the next video.